A couple years ago, I was speaking at a conference in Tennessee, and during the worship, this girl comes up to my merch booth and asks me a question. She said, how do you know that God is real? And I wasn't quite prepared to answer that question, so I start fumbling around and trying to do my best to answer it, and also trying to figure out what's going on in her life that's causing her to ask this question. She ends up telling me that the reason she feels like God isn't real is because God feels absent. She says that she sees everybody in that conference singing about how they can see God and feel God and they're experiencing His glory, but she said all she sees is a room full of people and all she feels is absence. And if that's you, if you're in that similar situation, if God feels far in worship or far in your prayers or far in your church, I want to offer up the same bit of counsel I gave to this girl. I asked her, I said, do you own a big pink Hummer? (laughs) And she laughed at me and said, no, I don't own a big pink Hummer. And so I said, okay, so if someone came up to you here in this conference, ran up to you and they said, hey, your big pink Hummer was just stolen, what would you say? And she said, well, I would say I don't own a big pink Hummer. And so I said, okay, so we could agree on the fact that you would probably say, um, if you lost your big pink Hummer, it wouldn't concern you. And she said, yeah, because I don't have a big pink Hummer. So far, so good. So then I asked her, what's the most important thing that you own? She told me about this gemstone that she keeps in a small wooden box on her dresser in a room. It's the last memory she has of her mom, who's now passed away. Every morning she opens the box and she looks at the gym and she remembers her mom. And so I told her, okay, what if that same person came up to you and said, hey, that gemstone in that small wooden box on your dresser has just gone missing? Well, her stare kind of went icy and you could see it melting over her, the fear and terror of losing that gemstone. And she said, it would devastate me to know that I lost that gemstone. And so I asked her this question. I said, why would you be so devastated over losing the gemstone, but not even care about the news that you've lost your big pink Hummer? (laughs) She looked at me like I was crazy. And she said, because I don't own a big pink Hummer. And so I said to her, then why do you think God isn't real? Because you can't feel him. You see, only whenever we have had something, possessed something, loved something, can it feel absent? Can it be removed from us? So instead of God's absence and distance that we feel being a cause of alarm for us thinking that he's not real, instead, it's proof for the very existence of God because only if God was once close could he ever feel far.